Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to the S4. Well, this is Petroped. Petro Pooch and I are on our way to Portofino in Italy, and I thought I'd let you into maybe France's best kept automotive secret. This video is all about the auto tram. So we're going to get the Eurotunnel into France. And then I know as a petrolhead you'd think, well, we're on a kind of, you know, road trip. We should drive all the way to Italy. But if you don't want to do that, then there is a bit of a cheat. And the first thing you need to do is head over to Paris, which is what we're going to do first. Now, top tip, if you can afford it, Flexi Plus is the way to go when you come on the, on the Channel Tunnel. It means you can basically get on any, any uh, train you like. And also, it means you get some food. So, coffee and food next. Do human beings get a little bag with like breakfast and uh, Starbucks and stuff, but petrol pooch doesn't even get, they get her own little gift bag for the dog. How cool's that? Should we see what's in your bag, dude? Hey, what's this look? Toys look. And what else have we got? Oh, we've got treats too. So we've got our coffee, we've got our breakfast, and we're gonna head on to the next available train um, and then go over into French France um, for a trip over towards Paris. Blasting our way through northern France, and Mrs. Petroped is driving in a spirited fashion, enjoying the 130 km an hour uh, speed limit on the French auto route. We've just been through the first payout. Top tip if you're driving in France is to buy a toll tag um, so that you don't have to basically put money in or a credit card in, you just come up to the barrier and it zaps you through and automatically builds your bank account. It just makes driving through France a whole bunch easier. But let me explain a little bit more about the auto tram. So we are on our way to southern France. In fact, we're going to Italy. Um, now, I could, we could drive down the auto route all the way. And I know as a petrol head, I should be maybe taking the kind of scenic route and doing lots of lovely driving. You can do that too. However, if you want to get to the south of France quickly, this is a great option for you. So we are on our way to northern Paris to a train station called Gare de Bercy. Um, and we are then going to drop the car off at the auto tram. So the car is going to go overnight on a freight train to Avignon in the south of France. Uh, we walk from Gare de Bercy to Gare de Lyon. It's literally a 10-15 minute walk. And then we get on a TGV 
and in under three hours we will be in Avignon. So we basically save ourselves probably six or seven hours worth of driving. And the lovely thing is you can sit on the TGV, have a cold beer, and it actually runs parallel with the Auto Route de Soleil and you can look out the window and see the traffic jams on the motorway, which is always a nice thing. So it's just a, a really great way of um, saving you time money because you don't have to spend fuel and depreciation on your car and all of those things uh, and it just makes a trip to southern france far far more relaxing we'll then have an overnight in avignon and then we pick up the car tomorrow and then we drive from avignon to portofino in italy but um i'm gonna enjoy being a passenger for a while and then when we stop for fuel i'll swap over and do some driving um, and we will uh, i'll speak to you in paris hugely camera shy. Mrs. Petra Pet's also really enjoying driving in France right now so we just stopped for fuel and I was expecting a driver swap but no not a chance I'm not gonna get anywhere near the driver's seat today we are only about 20 kilometers away from Gare de Bercy we're just coming into the uh, outskirts of Paris and onto the peripherique so we are very very nearly there. We've arrived at the Gare de Bercy. Whoop, whoop. So all checked in. Uh, we're just having a final check over the car. The car now basically goes on the back of a car transporter overnight to Avignon and we'll collect it in the morning uh, but a really nice simple straightforward process now we can wander over to Gare de Lyon and get some lunch car all booked in short walk to Gare de Lyon and we are in our favorite place the Montreux cafe we eat here every time we do this um, so yeah we've got about an hour's wait for the TGV uh, but it's such a simple process and we'll just pick the car up anytime after half past nine tomorrow in Avignon um, but now we can just chill out, relax. We know we're going to be in Avignon in less than three hours on the TGV doing 300 kilometers an hour, drinking cold beer in first class as well. Now, cost-wise, by the way, depends on when you book, but that auto tram for the car can be anything from one to 200 pounds, sometimes a little bit more than that. And then the TGV, again, depending on when you book, the cheapest we've ever got it was about 30 pounds first class, but I think this time it was about 100 pounds return uh, for us. And Darcy, um, petrol pooch, I think it's an extra 10 euros or something, but yeah, brilliant. So next thing, just need some food.
Avignon and it is hot. There you go. Had a really good sleep actually. Lost a good hour of that journey fast asleep. So all we need to do now is get a quick taxi to our hotel. We're going to find a nice relaxing glass of wine somewhere. That is it hot down here though. So we have arrived in our hotel. I am fully showered, relaxed and de-shabbed and we're about to head out into Avignon for a nice meal and to enjoy some French hospitality. Cracking view of the old sort of uh, area right near the, the sort of Pope's Palace, I think it's called in Avignon, but very, very beautiful. So we will see you guys in the morning when we go and pick up the S4 from the Autotran station, which is just on the outskirts of town, a short taxi ride away. But until then, take care and I'll uh, see you in the morning. Good morning, we are now, we've just got our taxi, in fact it's a very cool taxi, Skoda BRS, no doubt, um, but uh, we are here, I can actually see the car, it's just parked there, so we're going to pick it up, jump in it and tell you a little bit more about Autotra and where we're heading today, because we've got quite a big drive today. Ah, there she blows even parked in the shade. There's a massive range of cars always, but there's never that many British cars, which you always find quite strange because it's such a brilliant way to get to the south of France. Get the petrol pooch all strapped in. You ready, mate? Hmm? Mm hmm Get rid of all the plastic off the steering wheel. Mark on her. Brilliant. So we're now on our way to our final destination for the first part of our holiday, which is Portofino in Italy some 470 kilometers drive from here and that's kind of one of the reasons why we do the Autotran because it just takes a big chunk of car time out of the journey and it's worth noting by the way we got off at Avignon because one of our favorite hotels is very close to Avignon which is where we normally stay on our way to holiday but you can actually take the Autotran as far down as Nice uh, if you wanted to go you know further down south and um, but yeah just a, a really really simple way to get to the south of France. So we're going to crack on. I actually get to do some driving today. Mrs. Petropelli's going to chill in the passenger seat and hide off camera as always. Um, but um, we'll check in a bit later and uh, on our way to Portofino. some services and we've had a driver change even though I was hoping to drive all the way somebody likes driving far too much so I now have Ayrton Senna behind the wheel blasting us through northern Italy absolutely amazing road this the number of viaducts and tunnels just beautiful We have reached our final destination which is actually a place called Rapello which is very close to Portofino 
but look at that for a view. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video a little bit different. I've just checked the stats by the way, so if we'd have driven all the way it would have been about 1500 kilometers, but on the clock of the Audi we've got about 950 kilometers, so we've saved ourselves about 550 kilometers of driving by doing the auto train. and actually if we'd have thought about it, we would have taken the Autotran as far as Nice and saved ourselves a whole bunch more. But the original plans for our holiday weren't to come here. They were going to go to Creon Le Brave, which is quite close to uh, Avignon. We're here for a week and then we're up to Antibes in France next week. So anyway, um, I'll put all the details for the Autotran below. It's one of those options. I know if you're a big petrol head, you might be thinking it's like, you know, just you've got to do the driving but if you just want to chill out if you've got a very very long journey it's a lovely way to take a big chunk out right in the middle but anyway i hope you've enjoyed that video if you have done so give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to petroped for plenty more content to come and i'll see you on the next video but from sunny rapello in italy i'll see you on the next film guys you take care drive safe